This is question number three, homework, in chapter seven, seven dash three, and it's DR, dead reckoning, plus a fix. It's a B type current problem. If we look at this, look at the question number three, it says at 1500, you depart point A and sail on a heading of 170 PSC at six knots. At 1640, point F bears 138 PSC and point E bears 235 PSC. What was the current set and drift? This is a case where you end up at some location different than your DR, but you don't have a current table that tells you what the current was. The question is what was the current that was actually flowing during that previous um, hour and 40 minutes. Let's first convert our uh, bearings to true so we can plot them. And I entered a little table here that shows all the bearings TVMDC. And this says C. C refers to course. F refers to the bearing on point F and E refers to the bearing on point E. And the question gave a course of 170 PSC. There's 170 PSC. And the two bearings were 138 PSC and 235 PSC. So those were the givens in the uh, question. Now, we're on a heading of 170. So we have to look up compass deviation, compass error, in this table for 170. And this says that for 170, which falls here, here's 150 and 180. Well, 170 is closer to 180 than it is to 150. So in that case, I'm going to use 1 degree west as my deviation. And 1 degree west is going to apply to all of these because throughout this entire course, we're on the same heading. We haven't changed our heading, and deviation is dependent on boat heading. So 170, we're going to use 1 west. We put the 1 west in here. We can convert all of these PSCs to magnetic. And since we're going right to left in the table, it's a subtraction for westerly. And we have 170 minus 1 west is 169. 137 here and 234 here. And as previously, we already calculated the variation for this location for, this, for the year 2002. And it was 9 west, so we apply 9 west to all of these. And again, these are subtractions. So the trues become a course of 160 true. And here are the two bearings, 128 and 225. So let's start out with our plotting now. And we're going to plot our course of 160 true starting from point A. So here is 180 true, 170 true, 160 true. So I'm going to plot from that point. My parallel rules through 160 true. Move them over to point A. Hold it nice and tight, and draw my course line. Departure time was at 1500. I departed A at 1500. And this says I'm traveling at 6 knots, and I'm going for 1 hour and 40 minutes from 1500 to 1640. So if I take this arithmetic here, here's 1640 minus 1500 is 1 hour and 40 minutes, is 1.67 hours, 40 minutes, divided by 60 is 0.6666. So 1.67 hours. Distance is therefore speed times time. 1.67 hours times 6 knots equals 10.02 nautical miles. That's how far we went in that one hour and 40 minutes. Now to plot that, I have to measure 
0.02 nautical miles. And my dividers aren't big enough to, to span 10.02. So I'll do it in two steps. What I can do is start out here on 0 minutes, 26 degrees, 0 minutes, open up my dividers to 5 minutes. I have 5 minutes on here now. Come to my starting point, put a little tick. I know that's 5 minutes. I, wanna, I want 10.02. So I'm going to take this and just open it up. Well, O2 is not much, but it's basically a little bit more than another, another 5. And um, I'll mark that 10 point, put that 5 in. And that then is my DR. at 1640. I put a half circle and a dot because half circle is the um, designation for the DR. Now the problem says that at 1640 I took a bearing on F and took a bearing on E. Well the bearing on F was 128 so let's come over here and find 128. Here is 130, 120, here is 128. And I will put my parallel rules in. Run that down until I'm at F. And extend that line. The next bearing is 225 on point E. So I come over here and I find 2 Two five, which is right there, and I put my parallel rules in. Run that down until I'm at point E. And where the two of those cross is my fix. And I'm going to mark that fix with 1640. See what this, what this question says is I'm sailing down here and keeping a DR track and at 1640 I took a bearing on this, on F and E. And I end up with a fix that's nowhere near my DR. Again, not completely surprising because the DR is never completely accurate. What it says is that I steered for this point, the DR, but I ended up here. Therefore, the current must have pushed me from here to here during that period of time. So the question is, what was the current set in drift? Well, to get the current set, I draw a line from the DR to the fix. And measure the direction of that line. And I find that the set of the current is set is direction equals 017 degrees true. So the current was flowing based on this information from the DR to the fix Flowing in that direction, 017 degrees true. The next question is, what was the speed of the current? Well, in order to get the speed, I have to measure the distance that the current pushed us during that period of time. And the current pushed us from the DR to the fix, that distance. I come over here and I measure that distance. And I find that it's 3.1 nautical miles. Here's 1, 2, 3.1. Okay, 1, 2, 3.1. So the distance was 3.1, but that's not the current velocity. That's not the drift speed. 
That's the distance for one hour and 40 minutes. So what I want to calculate is what was the current, and, and velocity is distance over time. And that is 3.1 divided by 1.67 hours, or 1.9 knots. So the, the current drift velocity was 1.9 knots. And that is a type B current problem where we take dr and take a fix and determine what the current was.